Hi there and welcome back. I am Andrew and this is Ukrania Gaming. Today we are playing some more Civilization VI, so let's get started. Uh, this is our third episode with China, with the Qin Shi Huang, and uh, we founded only two cities, Xi'an and Shanghai. I'm waiting until I will have the political philosophy so I can grab a new government. Uh, nonetheless, I will have a government plaza in place, which means that I should be able to build uh, a ton of uh, settlers as soon as the, I can't remember the name, but <laughs> the special building uh, um, which provides a 50% of discount to settlers. And then I will settle all around this area. But at the moment we have different issue because as you can see, uh, we have a lot of barbarians that are pillaging and destroying and ravaging around. So uh, I have to get rid of this camp, first of all, and then I will be able to pursue my strategy. Second, but that's still uh, tricky. Um, I need to be careful because the Koreans here might become really problematic. So I need to be careful. Uh, at the moment, they have less than double of our, uh, our army and they're focusing on Buenos Aires. The city state, as you can see, they have some uh, wounded warriors. I, I don't know if we, they will take the city. I don't think so. N anyways, I need to be sure that I well I'm well defended, Ex especially Shanghai, which is a great city and it's bordering them. It has horses. They will try to take it, probably, unless I don't manage to... Um, to befriend them. And of course, Korea does not accept. Okay, I might also um, sell resources, sell horses. That that could be an idea. But I believe I should wait next turn. Let's focus on the barbarians now, and then let's see what. Oh, they have two catapults. Okay, we definitely have to build an army. Uh, oh, Jesus, this is really bad. Um... This is really bad. I mean, yeah, I, I can deal with those guys, but I don't have so many units, so. No idea. We still have one boost. And to be very honest, I will need this guy to repair the wheat resource and then to boost using Magnus our Um, our government plaza, plaza. So then I will buy probably also this tile here. I will buy also this tile here. And uh, this tile here is already mine. I will chop the forest down and, and gain uh, a big boost. That's going to be very interesting. Okay, uh, next turn we have our scout that could proceed. And here we have also uh, two um, movements, two builds. Okay, let's have a look at Shanghai. I can't remember exactly if uh, I have one, two, three, eventually four, five. Shanghai does not need any, any kind of uh, improvement for the time being. So also this guy goes up and this guy is waiting now. Next turn. I'm a very, I'm very scared that this pyramid might die, so plus four versus cavalry unit. Yeah, plus five versus cavalry unit is what we need. Maybe maybe the promotion will help. Oh man, this is so unlucky. Uh, we basically hit the enemy barbarian horseman and, and he lost uh, 98 points and is still alive. There's nothing else we can do. Okay. We have still one turn to go before political philosophy and uh, I have to build something here. I have to be something. Um, I cannot build uh, anything else uh, until I wait. So I'm going to I'm going to to go for the easiest. I, I'm going to build an archer, which is useful anyways. And the avenue governor. Groundbreaker plus 50 percent yields provision. What we are going to give now to Magnus is... 
back. Provision is what we need. I mean, also the surplus logistic is great. Don't get me wrong, but I think it's better now to appoint Pingala in Shanghai uh, because it would boost our science. And, uh, and I think it's more important at the moment. But then we, we will go back to Magnus and we will also promote him. Next turn. I'm really curious to see what's going to happen to the experiment here. Not so bad. I, I, I thought it could be worse. Okay, we have a new Civic and this is going to be really, really good. So, um, we can pick between Autocracy, Oligarchy and Classical Republic. Autocracy would be great just for a reason. The 10% towards uh, Wonder Production and plus one to all yields for each Government Plaza building, Diplomatic Quarter and so on. Mm. That's quite good. Oligarchy would give more experience and more strength to our units and it's very, very well balanced. The Classical Republic is going to give plus one housing and amenity to each city with a district and it's boosting our great person points. Uh, due to the fact that I would love to have the Classical Republic to um, now expand my borders but i just need one economic card which is the plus 50 percent colonist and i think i can go for autocracy to use the 10 percent um wonder production because i want to found my third city right away uh, on the north east and i want to build petra right away this is vital for my uh, for, for my city and it's vital for me because I am a Petra fan and I, am, I, I know it sounds ridiculous to try to build your favorite um, wonder in a deity game but uh, yeah that's me <laughs> nice to meet you Andrew discipline will remain um, Ago game might be also extremely useful extremely useful so probably probably what oh my god Siri is talking to me Okay, sorry for the short break. <laughs> I had to switch off my phone. Uh, discipline, a good game. Europe planning will leave and uh, we are going to pick colonization plus 50% production to our settlers. We uh, need also, we need also uh, a wild car policy. And uh, in this case, I think that the charismatic leader could help us with the uh, city-states. On the other hand, on the other hand, I might also consider to keep the urban planning, but I will maybe take the urban planning and switch it from colonization later on. Then I let's take the charismatic leader plus two influence points per turn, earning city state envoys. That could be useful. Wonderful. So now we have a. Uh, Tier 1 government, plus 2 error score. Roads are upgraded. Uh, need more amenities. Yeah, I'm aware. You need to vote for, for promotion. Okay. Let me talk to... Let me talk to Sionduk. Let's make some deal with her. She doesn't have a lot of... Uh, actually... <laughs> I don't see so much room for deals at the moment. I even gave her a gift, but she didn't care at all. Okay, I can destroy this camp and I'm going to do it. I don't care if I sacrifice my spearmen because uh, then I will just clean the area from the horses. That's fine. But uh, this camp will not spam units anymore, which was a really, really a big pain in the butt. And now I can use the scout again to... Okay, here there is another, there is another camp we have to focus on soon. Barbarians are an issue because I didn't, I didn't found the uh, cities. So this guy is going to fix the the um, farm. This guy is going to chop the wood here. What else? Let's choose a civic. Okay. <clears throat> I might consider taking the games and recreation. Probably it's necessary. Wonderful. I mean, 
I, I, I see that uh, those uh, archers are not so strong against my spearmen. So now I would fortify and heal while the archer number one is getting close by. That's great. Okay, and we have a campus in Shanghai, which is also, also very good. Uh, we go right away to a library. And Pingala will be in place in two turns. Pingala will give us a 15% in science and culture generation in Shanghai. Next turn. Very good. Now we have our third archer. And I think the barbarians are gone. Okay, so what next? We have to build this building, the Ancestral Hall, because the 50% increased production towards settlers in this city will be extraordinarily good. And, and it will give us also one governor title, which is not bad either. Now, our builder can chop this forest, and um, now the, bu the building will take only seven turns. Uh, what else do we have here? Okay, we have something more that can go and chop the other forest. We can go to Shanghai. Yes, we need to take care of this barbarian. Next. Ayutaya declares war on Buenos Aires. That means only one thing. Uh, it means that Ayutthaya is now under the control of Siondok. What are they providing? Gain culture equal to 10% of the construction cost when finishing buildings. Wow! <laughs> That's a lot of culture. That's a lot of culture. Okay, let me see which forest can we can chop first. I think this one is necessary to chop because here anyways, I was thinking I'm going to build a, a scientific district. Whether it would be Xi'an or this other city, I don't know, but let's take this, let's grab this um, and move here. Okay, it seems that our first uh, trade route is done. Uh, I'm going to move the merchants to Shanghai and do the opposite because with Magnus in Xi'an, as soon as Magnus will have a promotion, I will give him uh, um, the promotion which gives plus two food for each uh, um, trade route ending in this city, in the capital. So um, it's going to be beneficial to have internal trade routes. Now we keep one archer in Xi'an. This other guy will go probably uh, and kill. Okay, maybe it's a good idea to move both the archers on this area and try to kill this um, spearman. I think it's a good idea, yeah. Fantastic. Good. So, uh, do I have enough money to, to get this? 105, this is what we need. We have to wait a little bit more. Okay. Well, it seems that the city-state is going to profit Unless uh, so unless something very special happens, I don't know. In the meantime, Xian now um, has his town hall. Let's go here and let's check it out. We rushed it very very fast. Now we can show it ancestral hall. Sorry, and now that should be very easy. Yep, a settler costs only four turns. Here we go. We start the super expansionist phase of our uh, strategy. Let's give to Magnus this promotion here. 
20% growth in the city. Your trade routes ending here provides plus two food. So now uh, we just sent, um, I, I think I can see it from the list of, uh, of resources maybe. I can't remember really. There must be, ah, here, the trade route. Yeah, now Shanghai Tuxian is giving four food and two production. And it's and it's great. It's like a, a uh, it's like a two tiles, two extra tiles, or one super good uh, tile for Shanghai, which will help uh, the city growing and uh, developing with science and culture, which is what I think is the best. Uh, let's continue. Okay, next one. We need to take care and quickly to our amenity uh, topic. I wanted to check if uh, Buenos Aires can... Here. I will have a new envoy. I will have a new envoy in two turns and I will take Buenos Aires, which will mean that the cattle and uh, uh, wheat, uh, they will provide also amenities and uh, this, will, this will fix the problem for a little while. Then I need really to expand close by to other luxury resources and, and use them as up. Hey man, don't kill, don't steal my camp here. <laughs> this is mine. This is mine. Okay, we uh, purged two camps now. The barbarians are defeated uh, and we didn't lose any unit yet. We have already uh, our chain of, uh, um, of, of colonists is ready. Uh, so we will spam them over and over. Uh, that's that's very good. Now I also want to buy this tile and boost uh, this colonist, which is going here. Why is the game suggesting this hill? Why? Because probably it's, it's saying, yeah, man, look, you can use the stone and you can get wrapped then tobacco. Yeah, but if I settle on the stone directly, then I will be able to one, two, three. I will be able to get also uh, this amazing tile here, amazing of the Gobi Desert to close to the to the wonder. So I think I'm going to settle just a little bit further. Okay, this archer can go back to Shanghai and defend uh, the city. This archer will stay here and defend uh, the the new Xihan. He's gonna heal. And uh, uh, Xihan now can go directly towards the next uh, settler. Okay, um, Korea is offering open borders. We have also eight. We have also eight votes. So I refuse this deal uh, at the moment. Actually, uh, I might consider. I might consider to get some money. Eight votes on? No, I am not. I'm going, I'm going to refuse this. I'm sorry. Um, the citrus is back as far as I see. But I don't mind. Now we take we, we, we take Buenos Aires. Now we have an ally. And this is also very good in um, if we consider to, to strike against Korea or to defend against the Koreans, uh, Koreans attack. But the great thing is that Shanghai will not have any amenity problem. Next turn, we check the micromanagement of each city and we try to understand how to f develop them further. Machu Picchu has been done. Uh, Siondok is building uh, over and over um, wonders without any, any stop. Wow. Military policies, the discipline can go. We don't need any discipline anymore. Conscription can be uh, much more useful because it's going to reduce the maintenance of our units. Uh, the colonization card will stay. Um, what else? Uh, I mean, the insular plus one housing in all cities with two districts. Yeah, it's not the 
the, the most interesting thing. I'm going to set the Corvée right away because I am I will uh, now prepare um, Petra in seven turns in uh, in this city that I'm going to found. It's going to be the first, the very first building that I will uh, set here. Shanghai now is also free. Uh, okay, our our military power is horrible. 100 versus 149. I've been focusing on everything except uh, warriors and archers and spearmen. So let me build a couple of spearmen and archers in Shanghai just to have a little army, just to be sure that in case of war I can respond. You're you're never you're never sure. You're never safe enough. Let's go to the military tradition, 45, 45, next. Catherine of France, uh, and she's dressed like in the Carnival of Rio de Janeiro. Catherine of France dressed like a clown. She's a particular version of the original black uh, lady, dark lady. It is an honor to meet you. We would love to have your hospitality. Okay, let me check. So she's not that strong in terms of science and culture. She has a lot of money. She has a lot of faith. She might have founded a religion. Um, but in general, she has a much better army than me and Siondok. So let's send the delegation. I have no idea where she's... And she likes Siondok and she likes also someone else. And she's a classical republic like Siondok. That's bad because we are not a classical republic. Um, Let me see, what is she up to? Two, what? Let, let's, let's skip this. Okay, guys, let's play the last turn. I'm gonna click next turn and this is gonna be the last one for today. <clears throat> and Buenos Aires now is fighting against the other city-state because uh, uh, Siondok is still in war against Buenos Aires and they lost, basically they lost all their Units, uh, which makes me think, if uh, if Sondok approaches Buenos Aires with a cup with two catapults and uh, one or two melee units, uh, Buenos Aires is gone, which is very sad. Xian can build another settler while this guy is going here, and now let's do the review of our uh, micromanagement, as I said. So. Let me just uh, say, we have, this is good, this is also good, this is also good, this is fine, this is horrible, we need, absol we, we absolutely need to work the Plain Hills and we need absolutely to work the Ember, I forgot the Ember, oh poor man, I forgot the Ember, that's why we had so little resources, I had Citrus and Ember, how could I forget that? Anyways, we need mines and we need amber here. We need a builder. I think I will grab one builder from one of my uh, new colonies and bring him here because I, I need to, to power up the capital. Okay, let's go to Shanghai. This is great. This is great. This is great. This is great. Okay, next might be a forest in 18 turns so yeah whatever i might consider to buy this uh, rice resource and also to work this tile um or i might chop it and use this amazing uh, river uh, area for i i can study i can think about an industrial area for example uh, let, let's just uh, now think. If here we put um, an aqueduct, uh, that could be uh, an idea, for example. If here we put an aqueduct, uh, um, then I might be able to place also uh, an industrial zone in the area, which provides plus, okay, plus two production for each aqueduct. Okay, plus one for each uh, uh, core, you know, plus one production for every two adjacent mines, and I would have only one mine here. So, honestly, I could place my, um, my industrial area wherever I want. Uh, uh, the good idea would be to put it close to a dam. Because now, if I have here a dam instead, 
then I could have here my uh, my industrial area or better if the dam goes here I don't even know if this is possible but this is just speculation at the moment then I could put the industrial zone here it would be close to the capital close to this mine um, which is it's going to be a 0 0.5 per, and I think those two the capital and the mine would be a plus one so it's going to be a plus five uh, uh, adjacency bonus maybe and Shanghai will be a scientific industrial city which I love as an idea let's keep it like that I'm not sure if it will go, it's going to work but anyways guys I hope that you like the videos in case please leave a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for today Civilization is uh, over. <laughs> we see each other next time with a new episode. Thank you for watching and see you soon.